this will be one of the most important videos I have done in quite some time. We're going to talk about how can you remove your personal data, personal information like your address, your email, your phone number um, from the Internet. Now, believe it or not, it's very easy to find out where people live. It's very easy to track people down these different places. I mean, you can have a credit report. There's companies that uh, share your data uh, for marketing purposes and uh, your information addresses can be out here. And that really is what stood out to me recently uh, when I somebody called me, I had a strange phone number called me and I Googled the phone number. And so this website popped up. I'll show you. It's called uh, searchpeoplefree.com. And here I entered the phone number and the person's first name, last name, and their address showed up and their email. And they gave me also other addresses that were very uh, close. This is going to be dangerous, especially if the wrong person gets your phone number and now they know where you live. So you want to get rid of this information. And I'm going to show you a couple steps. It's going to take a little bit of time to remove it because your, it's, your data is out so many different places. I want you to understand there's hundreds of sites that have your data, but I'm going to show you. And if you look in the description, we're going to look at at least 11 different sites. I'm going to have in links below and I'm going to show you the process of how to remove your information from that site. So that way somebody just can't take your email address or your phone number and then find out where you live. And um, so with that being said, if you like videos like this, subscribe to the page, like this video, put a comment and say, I like this. And also donate to the channel as well. You got the cash app and make sure you get my book series as well. Shut up and hustle right there. That really supports the channel when you get those uh, books and products and buy five of them, share them with your five closest friends. All right. So before I go into this site, I want you to also know that right now data is the number one uh, currency is more valuable than your money. In fact, if you was to lose your wallet uh, with and you had a thousand dollars in it, that's less valuable than if you were to lose your phone and your data, right? Because people can do so much, especially with like new digital wallets, cryptocurrencies. So that's why decentralization is important. But that's another video. Let's talk about this subject. So I'm going to show you a couple of videos. So first, this website is tr search people free. And on this website, uh, people's information. Now, I just typed up a random number and I'm showing you this one because this is disconnected. I don't want to put another number in here because I don't want anybody's address to pop up. So I just found a disconnected number. But normally you would type in the number here. You would say you would search. See how it says, do you want to search by name, phone number, address, email? You would search in a number and right here. And also you would scroll down and it would give you other people that they may know too. So you can kind of start tracking folks down. All right. Very, very, I've even seen some phone numbers that, uh, I, I was looked up some of my friends and all the information was here. So if you want to remove it, here's how you remove your stuff here. Now it's going to take about three minutes to do so, but let me show you. Removing this stuff, it takes about, I say, two to three minutes per website. Um, so if you, you know, there's about 11 different ones that I found. I got the links in the description. And what you would do is you would click on these links. I got it in the description. All right. These are different companies that are what you call data brokers, meaning they're selling your data on the open market. People are scooping this information up. So you would click on the link. Let's say you got accent.com, address search.com, any who archive, all of this is very valuable. Let's say you click on one. Um, it's like white pages. You would click on it. And it's going to, if you click on the links that I have, my links are going to take you directly to the removal process, right? So you can get directly into removing it when you click on these links. Okay, we're going to look at one in a second. Also, I want to show you this. So let's look at 
the site we just had here. So yeah, white pages is another one. We want to remove this stuff off of places like white pages. So let's say here's a general generic thing you can do. So search people free. If you know the sites that you think your stuff may be on, you can do a Google search. Typically you see how this URL is right here. You see how it says, um, search people free.com. If you type in just on Google search people free.com and just type in the word remove and we'll, we'll do that. To see what it does. Let me say search people free dot com re long when you type in the word remove usually there'll be a obviously it says opt out right here usually that's where you'll click and this will take you directly to the opt out page so that way if you do this your own yourself you don't have to pay somebody to remove this information um you can do it by yourself you know you'll save some money if you want to save some money and do this yourself but typically what happens is you click on that link this is what it'll look like It'll tell you, you want to remove your records. Here are the instructions. And these are very simple instructions. All you're doing is you're entering. What is your email address? You got to verify that you're not a robot. And then once you do that verification process, um, you go to your email. They're going to ask you if you are human. Okay. So you got to click on if you're a human or not. And once after you do that, they're going to ask you, you're going to click a button that says, hey, I want to remove myself. Uh, now, remember, you got different pieces of data. So what happens is. Let's say you click your phone number, you can remove your phone number may have a bunch of information. You can remove that, but then you might go to the site. 24 hours later that'll be gone but you'll still you may still have some other email addresses that you used so you may want to do it twice one for a phone number for e or for a different email so that way you scrub in everything all right so it's up to you how deep you want to do uh how deep you want to go but you'll see as you go through this process but you look at these links here i got multiple anywho archives uh, I have some links to white pages as well. Here's another one here. Um, I don't know this was uh, Spookio, uh, Roderus. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing this right. Mylife.com. But I made it real easy. Just got the links. Click on the links and it'll take you straight. USPeopleSearch.com. That's them.com. And literally, as you're clicking this stuff, you just... The, the process is pretty almost the same with every place you is going to ask you to verify your email. It's, it's going to ask you to one search. What are you trying to look up based on? Is it the phone number? Is it the address or what is it that you want to remove? Once you type in your phone number, you'll see the information connected to that number. OK, and then you, you say, hey, this is what I want to remove. They're going to ask you for a verification process. You do that. And then you should be fine. It's going to take about 24 hours to actually remove it. So that's the general process. I don't want to do it in as a demonstration because if I was to do it, then my information would pop up. So I don't want to put my phone number in and then my address and stuff is out there. So I don't want to do a demo of myself, uh, but it's really simple. It's a really simple process. I made it easy by providing you the links to the sites that you can actually go to and begin to get this stuff done. So with that being said, guys, uh, walk through this process. You see, it's this is the one I was just showing you. It gives you the opt out page. And when you're going on the opt out page, they're going to tell you, hey, you opt out. Your data is going to be removed from marketing places. You know, what's the impact? Here's the thing more now more than ever. You do not want your data out here. You do not want not in, in my opinion, do what you want to do. But in my opinion, the last thing you want is to have all of your data. Look at that. True people search dot com. Now, here's a great one. True people search. This is a good one for real estate. Right. I share people with this. Like, let's say, for instance, you're into real estate. If you find a real estate property. And you got the address that you're trying to figure out who the owner is because you probably want to buy the property from them. 
literally can just look up the addresses and you know owner information will pop, pop up a lot of times it's not always accurate because they'll say hey here's 10 possible people but it's it's kind of you know you can just narrow it down and figure out who the owner potentially is just by kind of looking at the results so it's amazing how much data is actually out here and exposed so just click these links get yourself um get your data scrubbed off you know immediately because you do not want your, e your emails are vulnerable and this is also why like let's say for instance you're doing cryptocurrency for example because we talk about that on this channel this is why it's good to create like a fake email account all right meaning an alternate e email account and when you make that account don't use all your real information don't put your real first name and last name don't put all of your accurate whatever don't definitely don't put your address on there maybe put a p.o box or an address maybe somewhere close but be very careful about what you do because if the company gets breached then you don't want your information out there and people targeting you so like the page subscribe to the page and make sure you get that book series as well i'm your platform partner i'll talk with you soon peace